Camera on. This camera on. Tell me what's your flavor. Craig David. <laughs> Craig David is actually my nemesis. Not even a joke. Come and be Craig. He'll be watching this. He watches everything I do. <clears throat> oh, weapons manuals. Is this all the guns? Right. That is guns. That Lots is the guns. guns. Okay. So we'll be referring back to that quite a lot. Okay. Well, fortunately, I've introduced <laughs> this uh, feature in the show. It's an exciting new feature. It's called Fast Forward. <laughs> where, where I fast forward the boring bits. Yeah. Um, kill shot with five to eight skulls. We have five skulls. Yeah. Um, good. Good. Yes. Oh, I don't have any damage to get rid of that. Uh, sure. No, you can leave it there. <laughs> it all gives right. me a head start. Um, you can put all this in the outtakes. Yep, I'll tag this on the end. Or maybe I'll just leave it at the start. No, <laughs> no editing. People will love can't, it. People love it. it. Um, speaking of people, hello, friends, <laughs> and welcome back to Ready City Play. Hello. I'm joined with, uh, here, I'm joined, oh fuck, that sounds weird. I'm joined again. <laughs> conjoined. <laughs> conjoined. I'm conjoined with Michael and Barry to, um, should I just re restart? Yeah. No, no it's funny. No, it's funny. <laughs> All right. Dissenting That's opinions. Uh, Dissenting uh, opinions. I'm restarting. Hello, and welcome to Ready, Steady, Play. <laughs> in your face <laughs> Craig has spoken yeah. I'm Mike <laughs> and I'm the one that they keep dragging off the street <laughs> for the yeah. layperson's view of games <laughs> and this is an important demographic <laughs> yeah. Go Ma me. Michael's here to represent you <laughs> <laughs> who may not have played Adrenaline I have not but to be honest in truthfulness in true Ready City Play fashion we haven't played Adrenaline either no I've managed to play, I played this game in its prototype format at the UK Games Expo this year, uh, last year technically, well, ha Happy New Year everybody, 2017, <laughs> and uh, it's not changed too much from then, uh, although the components have got a little shinier, and, uh, but yeah, we've not actually played a game, so you'll be learning as we do. Mm. Mm. We know the rules though. We know, we read the rules. Which, which we, I, I promise we read the rules, <laughs> most of them. This is better than, you know, 50% of the rules. <laughs> Guaranteed to be right. Read them. It doesn't mean I get them yet. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's simple, right? We've got guns, we shoot people, they take damage, and then they die. Yeah. So and then what can go wrong? Yeah, Adrenaline's uh, a board game representation of a first-person arena shooter, um, along the lines of Quake or you know the multiplayer modes and Halo and uh, Call of Duty, those kind of I mean, things. It most sort of reminds me of like sort of like the classic shooters like Quake and Doom. Yeah, the way you sort of that. grab guns from spawn points and the ammo from spawn points and stuff like that. We're not going to get bloody faces then when <laughs> as we shoot. I might get a little heated, <laughs> but uh, no, we should be fine. That'd be great, actually. Instead of a damage track, you just had like a portrait that you yeah, just sort of yeah. swapped <laughs> in and out with more damage on it. You have no um, nose. <laughs> guys, I have ideas. Get in touch, get in touch. Um, <laughs> but uh, actually, when I first heard of this game, I was like, that's a terrible idea and it will never work. No, it's good. <laughs> um, and yeah, and then it did sort of work. So, fool on me. Yeah. I, I didn't know. Um, and uh, yeah, people kept playing it and kept saying it was really good and interesting and well worth checking out. So, uh, I, we, we are. That is what we will do, yeah. Yeah, easily influenced. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know what you can see, but uh, effectively, each of us has a little figure representing ourselves. I'm Violet, is that... Is that my name? Oh, uh, we have uh, very, vital, vital very literal uh, We have a here. name. But you're violent. I have not character. a number. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. I think you might. Purple. I think you might be in luck. Look at that. What's your job? I'm a professional shooting instructor. That's wow. handy. Cheating. Uh, my nail polish <laughs> is always perfect. I don't know if that's sexist or not. Uh, my favorite snack: chips and salsa. My favorite weapon: anything that goes boom. Wow. That's everything you need to know about me. It's not like characters in first person shooters have particularly deep backstories anyway. So <laughs> I feel like Honestly, that's, I'm surprised uh, we're getting this much. Yeah. I'm Banshee. This is me. Um, I look like that. Wow. I am. You make lots of noise. <laughs> <laughs> Killed by Violet already. It is. Uh, it says Home Planet Unknown. Guilty Pleasure Karaoke. Perfect date. Oh, God. A long walk by the ocean <laughs> or in the ocean. <laughs> Siblings. I get 900 sisters, all the same age. As I was said, I don't know if I'm a girl or a boy, but I guess I am a girl. Yeah. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah, I do kind of have boobs. 
Can milk anything with nipple, Greg. (laughs) 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 I also seem to have, like, a lot... I've only got two arms, but I've got a lot of uh, prehensile tentacles that kind of help me out. So that's pretty good. A long walk by the ocean or in the ocean. That's my perfect date. Just take note. (laughs) (laughs) For later. I'm just saying. (laughs) So, I am the... Destructor, <laughs> but I kind of wow. like to think of him as like Pac-Man with guns. So he will be known as Pac-Man with guns, <laughs> with a smiley face. Angry Pac-Man. <laughs> like, yeah. Projectile Go. guns or guns. <laughs> so <laughs> apparently, and he's yellow. So I can't even say yellow properly. Um, <laughs> he's what? <laughs> he's, yeah, what color is he? <laughs> um, but apparently, my favorite beverage is five W thirty. So I take it that's kind of some oil. Oh, I feel like that's out of play on WD forty. Ah. That makes sense. That makes perfect yeah. sense. <laughs> um, my hobbies are tennis, bowling, <laughs> sheet metal. Oh, and sheet metal origami. Check me out. Um, my favorite yeah. board game is Robo Rally. I get it. Why have they given me all the O words? <laughs> 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 and my beloved pet is a cordless drill. Yeah, me and my drill. <laughs> I don't think that's a very good pack. <laughs> don't think it's not going to give me much more. Oh, I feel like we're... Did you remember to charge your drill today? <laughs> it's like a Tamagotchi. <laughs> Budget Tamagotchi. I'm all about the uh, sheet metal origami, though. Mm-hmm. Don't mm-hmm. Um, But yeah, that's more than you really need to know about your characters. These are going to be your little dudes on the board, and they are going to run around the board, picking up weapons, picking up ammo and uh, shooting each other, which is what the, the game is about. Yeah, uh, we've got some guns, we've got some ammo, there's guns there. And that is ammo. everything you need. So, the works. I guess the basic rules of the game, you're going to be on the board, you've got two actions per turn. One action can be move up to three squares, so one, two, three. Um, one action can be move and pick up, or the pick up move, the pick up action allows you to move one square. And you can pick up ammo. But you can't pick up and then move. You can only move and then pick up. Correct. Yeah, so once you've picked up, uh, there's no more moving. Yeah, there's. Yeah. it tells you, just for me, because I'm forgetful and stupid, um, <laughs> actually it just gives you a, yeah. like, a little help guide here. So there are the three moves at the top. There's the move in the hand, which is the grab um, on the little... And it's got a helpful arrow at the bottom to remind you to reload at the end of your turn. Yeah. But we'll talk Ooh. about that in a minute. Um, it's important to note that uh, you can do the actions in any order, and you can do the same action twice per turn if you want. Yeah. And the final action is probably the most important, which is shoot. Shoot So uh, to shoot somebody, you're going to have to have a card in your hand, which is a weapon card. Let's just place that there for people to see. And um, each weapon card has two actions, generally. Two, perhaps three actions. Um, the top action, you can choose which action to take when you play the card. Mm. Um, but they all have different effects. Now what you're going to find is that there's a whole bunch of symbols on these cards. Now they do all make perfect sense. But it's going to take a couple of games to understand uh, what they're actually trying to represent. So that flamethrower, for example, will let you choose one or two targets uh, mm-hmm. in an adjacent square or two squares away, one and two away. Uh, alternatively, you can spend some ammo, which are these little cubes that we're going to be picking up, uh, in order to flame any number of people in those two squares. Mm-hmm. So that, And whoever's in the first one is going to take two damage, and whoever's in the second one is going to take one damage. So it's uh, um, the icons are very representative in the, you very quickly get used to them, mm. but you may find us referring back to the weapons manual uh, a few times for our first game and uh, seeing how it goes. Uh, whenever you damage somebody, which is obviously the aim of the game, you're going to give them uh, tokens equal to the amount of damage you've done. They're going to go on your health tracker, which I think we can see in here, but there's your tokens. Uh, and obviously you're not going to shoot yourself, or you don't to not shoot yourself. But, um, <laughs> would, that would be dumb. <laughs> uh, they go on, and when, you get space, to the, when you've taken 11 damage, then your character dies. They're going to respawn again next turn. It's not a massive problem. Uh, and points are distributed based on amount of damage taken, amount of damage given, uh, whether it was an overkill, whether you kill one or two people that turn. Um, a variety of factors, but the aim of the game is to get points. Uh, and yep. the more people you kill, the more points you have. Wait a minute, the aim of this game is to get points. Yeah. Oh, that's new and refreshing. <laughs> yeah, so, someone never before seen in board games. So what, um, what? The one with the most point wins? Yeah, it's, it's not point salad, it is. So uh, none of the points are really hidden. Um, everything's out in the open, so you know what it's worth. Uh, let's say you're terrible at the game, however, and everybody's always picking on you. What's going to happen is you're worth less like and life. less points the more times you die. So uh, mm, It's true. <laughs> it's not... Um, 
people will stop going after you. It kind of self balances in that sense for different skill levels as well. Yeah, I mean they can keep picking on you if they want, but they'll get fewer and fewer points for it yeah. every time. So if you're if you're rubbish, this might be the game for you, <laughs> Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Barry. <laughs> uh, Guess okay. who I'm shooting so, first? <laughs> Come at me, bro. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna hang out in the back. Shall we, Mike? You've got the first player token. Um, I do. Let's do these. Look at it. Up. It's badass. Yeah, it's pretty. It's not like red and scully. It's very doomy. I think. I feel like that. Yeah, I feel, it feels like and spiky. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna deal out two of these power-up cards. There's also power-up cards in the game. Each do something. Magic. Uh, again, it's all icon based. <coughs> shuffle these a bit better because it doesn't seem to I haven't looked at any of them, so it's going to be a nice surprise when I pick them up and I'm like, what does this do? Mm -hmm. um, the other thing worth mentioning, I suppose, quickly in passing, is that the, uh, the game you. has um, two other game modes. We're playing Deathmatch, yeah. but you can play like turret attack, defense, and also defend the point, um, where you defend the spawn points. But uh, we, we, we didn't learn the rules for those. No, this no, is ready, no. steady play. Yeah. Not, you know. <laughs> we only promised 50% of the rules yeah. at any one time. For one game mode. And uh, additionally, there's also bots. But some might call some So vicious. the game uh, works a little better with more players because there's more opportunities to uh, shoot people and such like. Uh, worth pointing out that shooting players, uh, the game's quite tactical in as much as it's a game about movement. You have to be in the right position to use the right weapon at the right time to get yeah. the most damage. Um, and the more players that are on the board, the more opportunities you have for moving around and getting into those positions. Um, and so you can play with a bot as well. And the bot does very sort of default actions. Uh, much easier to kill, but you get a lot less points for it. So, um, that could only be a got... fun game. I'd like compete to kill the bot the most. Yeah. Uh, the, the game plays three to five out of the box. I mean... Um, and you could play two two bots to, to always have five players. Right? If you've only got two of you, you can put a bot in and you've, you've always got the minimum. But, uh, you know, the most fun will be had killing your friends. Yes. I uh, highly recommend that. Also, Coming the map here is modular. Um, there's two halves to this board, and each half has two sides. Uh, mm -hmm. Depending on the number of players, you can make the map bigger or smaller. We've yeah. chosen the smallest map. We're only playing three players. Should be fine. <coughs> um, you can choose also the number of rounds. Yeah, we're going for five rounds. Should be enough, so that's five kills. After the fifth kill, we're going to go into a frenzy mode, which gives us one more turn uh, to do some damage and get a few more points on the board. Uh, but we'll read that rules when we come to it. Our, uh, <laughs> our, our doodads here will flip over. Oh, oh really? For a flip, it's frenzy mode. So our actions become insanely crazy, Fancy. but also you get far fewer points. Yeah, for <clears throat> anybody. And that's it. So first we're going to spawn, like any uh, you know, arena shooter. Uh, you're going to have your spawn point. Mike, I've given you two power-up cards. You're going to choose one to keep and one uh, whatever colour it is you're going to spawn on those points. So if we look at the board, we've got a yellow, red and a blue spawn point. Yep. And that is where you go for um, stuff. What's the word I'm after? To pick up weapons. Uh, these tokens, the ammo tokens, will give you more uh, power-ups as the game progresses and, and you pick them up. And you can have up to three weapon cards in your hand. Uh, if you get any more replace it with whatever one you're uh, getting. At the end of your turn, uh, you're going to replace any tokens and cards that you've picked up. So if you've taken an ammo, that gets replaced down the round. If you've taken a weapon, that gets replaced down the round. And okay. yeah, I mean, the game's pretty straightforward. If you kill someone, they respawn at the end of the turn of the killer, right? Uh, I'll double check on that, but yeah. I'm pretty sure, like, if I kill Michael, I mean, sorry, if I kill you, then you respawn at the end of my turn. <laughs> Uh, we we're I'll not going to have this problem. I'll right? the jokes around the end. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, on the off chance that uh, okay, on the off chance that Michael uh, kills me, it would then be Barry's turn next. Um, but I would respawn at the end of Michael's turn. So you're there to shoot. So Barry could still shoot you. Yeah, correct. Um, but um, so that's important to know, I guess. Okay. For some reason. And uh, I need to double check on when you can play these cards. I think you can play them as your. Action. I'm pretty sure it says on them, but there is only four different variants of them anyway. Yeah. Um, but the other thing is, uh, when do we choose our spawn point cards? Do we choose them? No. Right? So you, yeah. keep, you keep one, and whatever one you discard is your spawn point. We're okay. getting into it. We're getting into it. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. I'm ready. Well, uh, I th you're first player. So yeah, you. but we don't all spawn at the same time. I'll spawn first and go first, um, and it'll just And be... you can do one of your moves, yeah. and yeah. then I spawn. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and play uh, spawn yellow. All right, all right, all so right. So now I'm going to spawn here. Yeah. Boom. 